So take a look at this. Mm. Rhode Island literally has the green light to reopen. Yeah, a lot of excitement in the air as the state house all lit up in green overnight as the state has lifted many of its COVID restrictions for the first time since last March. Such good news here for businesses, churches, and other places able to open at full capacity today. Social gathering limits also coming to an end. So we have team coverage on this Friday morning with 12 News reporters Kate Walsh and Alexander Leslie. Let's check in with Kate first for a closer look at some of these impacts. Well, guys, this day will definitely go down in Rhode Island history because it's been almost exactly 14 months since the state first put in those restrictions in March of 2020, and now we're seeing them finally lifted. It's been a long 14 months. So take a look at your screen here. You can see the difference between the left and right columns. We're talking about stores, restaurants, churches at full capacity now. No social distancing requirements, no masks required by the state, but businesses can make their own decisions on that still. You can go to the bar just for a few drinks and you don't need to sit there. There won't be any plexiglass dividers needed either. But Governor Dan McKee said nightclubs will still be at 50% capacity unless all patrons can show proof of vaccination, then they can lift their restrictions as well. But this last year, we've also learned how important it is to be with others in times of celebration and in sorrow. Weddings can have dance floors again. Funerals can include everyone who wants to grieve without restrictions. I'd like to say is, you know, being together, I, I know it, very much people are, um, it's not something I don't think any of us will ever take for granted again. Since the pandemic really set in over a year ago, uh, the logistics of having to plan those services for a loved one for many families has been very difficult. So again, the state law now is that you don't need to wear a mask, but it's up to each individual business if they still require them. And that's only if you're fully vaccinated that you can go maskless at all. So we actually are live, Alexandra, in front of the first market basket of Rhode Island this morning in Warwick. And we just spoke with the first customer who decided to wear a mask, but here they said it's not required for customers. Yeah, it's really just whatever your personal preference is, whatever you feel comfortable with. And you know, Governor Dan McKee said that the rules about who are unvaccinated, people who are unvaccinated, that mask rule that's been in place over the last 14 months or so, that still applies to them today unless they get fully vaccinated. And it's something that the state is pushing for people to do, even though the state has more than half a million people who are, um, more than half of the Rhode Island's population, rather, fully immunized. So as according to state health data, though, about 60 percent of the population are fully vaccinated. And as more of the population gets the shot, the state says it's winding down operations at mass vaccination sites in South Kingstown and Woonsocket over the next two weeks. Regional municipal sites and pop-up clinics and other existing mass vaccination sites will continue to be available for now, though. Now, in our weekly interview with Dr. James McDonald, he told 12 News that he's no longer concerned for the overall population getting vaccinated at this point, but for those individuals who still don't want to get the shots. I don't want to see individual tragedies that can easily be avoided at this point. And so I think individuals need to assess the perspective and the risk and decide what makes sense for them. I love that we're opening things up. You know, people understand the mask guidance, I hope, but I worry about individual risk. That's where that personal vaccination choice is so important now. And in another sign that the state is moving forward, those COVID-19 weekly briefings are moving from once a week to bi-weekly. They're moving from the Vets Memorial to back to the State House. Live in Warwick this morning, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.